G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be doing a review of an internal power filter. A couple of weeks back, I posted a video on how I do water changes in the fish room. And you would have seen in that video that when I do water changes on my bristlenose catfish tanks, that it takes quite a bit of time to siphon out all the catfish poop and avoid sucking up catfish fry. So I thought I'd bite the bullet and purchase some internal power filters for just those tanks alone. And this is the filter here. These are just, I just bought them off eBay. They are made by Sunsun and they are the JP-022F model. Uh, they're only 600 liters per hour and they run at only eight watts. So very efficient power filter. And to be honest with you, straight off the bat, it's made my life a whole lot easier. It's cut the time down to do water changes on my bristlenose catfish tanks. And that means I am able to do more frequent water changes because it takes less time to do them. So in turn, the bristlenose catfish are far more healthier than what they were before. The other thing is I could never suck up all the bristlenose uh, catfish poop uh, because it's always hidden under uh, driftwood uh, underneath the pots. But these filters are doing a fantastic job at basically sweeping the bottom of the fish tanks clean. So I'm gonna show you the internal power filters now and what they've done to the tanks. And you'll be able to see what the flow rate is like from these internal power filters on these size tanks. Let's have a look at what comes in the box. So we've got this little adapter, uh, Australian adapter, pretty, pretty cheap quality. Not the greatest quality in the world, but you get what you pay for with these little things. You get this Ventry uh, inlet, so the pump can pull in air and aerate the water, as well as the little Ventry uh, adapter that you pop onto this silicon tube. This little attachment helps you with keep the ventry out of the water. So it sucks in air. And of course, the pump. Quite tiny, quite small. Uh, about 600 litres an hour, hopefully will be enough flow. You can see that baby bristlenose catfish will get in here really easy. So I'm gonna have to make, maybe with some fly screen with a cable tie around it uh, to prevent the baby bristlenose from entering this this area maybe i might have to double um, do a double layer of fly screen around this uh, but we'll see how it goes and i'll put some fly screen around this with a cable tie definitely because when i have this pump off bristlenose will go into the pump and then they'll get chewed up by the impeller uh, that won't be good it's really easy to take these pumps apart you just basically twist so for maintenance of the sponge you just take the top part off and then you've got access to the little sponge that's in here there's also a little chamber here that you could possibly put activated charcoal in but i'm not going to do that um, so i'm going to give this sponge a rinse now and i'm going to assemble it all back together like you see here and then pop it into the tank right here guys so you can see the internal power filter is in the corner over here and I'm gonna just switch it on now. Let's see how much flow it creates. Hopefully it's enough to lift the debris. You can see debris is lifting up from the right hand side of the tank. And it's not blowing the bristlenose catfish around. So the main thing I was concerned with, with getting this sort of filter was that the bristlenose were obviously gonna get blown around because of the power of the pump but that seems to be doing a really good job it's just right it's quite a bit of flow in there now for them bristlenose do like some flow it's a lot more flow than they had before with just those two sponge filters and i think this is going to keep the tank a lot cleaner than it was before i can easily clean out the sponge that's in the bottom of that sponge filter um, when I'm doing the water changes, but it's just gonna make the water change process a lot simpler on my bristlenose catfish tanks. Like I said before, I won't have to get the siphon and try to avoid the bristlenose catfish as I'm trying to clean the tank, trying to clean out all the poop from the tank. All I'll have to do is just drain the tank and hopefully this filter will pick up the most of the poop out of the tank. One thing it will do, it will definitely pull it all to one side of the tank if it doesn't suck it all up. It won't be spread out throughout the entire aquarium. So this, this pump hopefully will 
make my life a little bit easier when I'm cleaning out these bristlenose catfish tanks. So it's been 24 hours since the filters have been in the bristlenose catfish tanks. And as you can see, the bottom is like a mirror, spotless. Hardly any poop. There is a little in the corner back there, but catfish will swim through that during the day they'll move it around and it will get kicked up back into the water column and hopefully into the filter. And that's what's happened, obviously. So, other bristlenose tank. You can see there is a little bit more poo in this tank, still at the, on the glass, but there is a lot less than usual. Same thing will happen. The bristlenose will swim around through the tank. They'll kick up parts of that poop and it will get stirred back up into the water column and then into this filter. So in these tanks, I've got my breeding pairs of bristlenose and hopefully you can see on camera there, the inlet at the bottom here, I've um, wrapped some fly screen around it and cable tied it with uh, zip ties. And then uh, on the outlet, in the, right in the center of the frame there, I've also cable tied some fly screen to that because if the, the bristlenose could go into that, especially when the pump is off, and then when the impeller turns back on, they'll get chopped up by the impeller. Uh, they'll go into the filter. So there's no way the, the, the catfish can go into this filter the way it is. Um, and I've also done that on this bristlenose catfish tank. So again, you can see very clean bottom now. All the poop is being captured by the filter. There is a little bit here, but it's gonna make cleaning these bristlenose catfish tanks so much easier. So normally I have to scoot around with the siphon, try not to suck up any bristlenose catfish fry, especially the normal colored bristlenose. They're really hard to see on this dark surface. They only run on eight watts. And you can see how much they cost me here each. And they're comparable to the price of the sponge filters you see at the back there, if you'd have purchased these sponge filters singly but I did purchase these in bulk, so I was able to get them under $10 each, but uh, power filter, only, I'm only using four in these, in my four breeding bristlenose tanks, and they're gonna save me a world of hurt <laughs> from doing water changes on these tanks, because look how spotless the glass is now. So this is my adult breeding pair, my albino adult breeding pair of bristlenose catfish. This one, I do need to still put the fly screen on the outlet there. Uh, if I was to turn this filter off, the bristlenose catfish will quickly go into the filter. So I think this little experiment has been a success. I'm really happy with them. Obviously not the highest quality internal power filters, but they're doing the job. And if they fail, I'll just buy another one. Not a big loss. Now I should point out, I'm not sponsored by Sunsun or anyone else. This is a purchase that I made myself purely to make my, the running of my fishery more, much more efficient and easier for me to do water changes on these tanks. Uh, it takes about three to four hours every week to do water changes on all these tanks. And I've pretty much cut down the time by purchasing these internal power filters by about half an hour. So it really does help. Um, and it's not back breaking work anymore, especially on the lower tanks, you've bent over trying to suck up all the catfish poop and uh, not suck up any baby bristlenose. So it is quite painstaking work. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe buttons. I'd really appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.